Ibrox Stadium talking to Scottish international Gordon Jury. So Gordon, tell me, what does it feel like to qualify for the World Cup? Obviously delighted. I was, uh, I've been fortunate enough. I was one of the only three in the squad that have actually played in the World Cup before in uh, Italy 1990. Great experience and one we're looking forward to next, uh, next June. Does it feel different qualifying when you're playing for Rangers than when you're playing for an English club? No, I don't think. Well, it's uh, really the pinnacle of any player's career. It doesn't matter where you play. Uh, to qualify for the World Cup for your country must be one of the highlights of your career. Now, in terms of your career, you're fair to say you're a senior pro now. Does it I'm feel different? On, <laughs> yeah, on a personal level, does it feel? Do you feel like time? You have that much time left that you want to get there this time? Yeah, just say probably. Uh, so this will be my last opportunity to play in the World Cup. So it was a big thing that we qualified. Uh, as I said earlier, I've played the one before, but uh, this will possibly be the last. So it's, it's possibly a bit special this one. I know that the Scottish fans assume that once you get there you're going to win it, but to most people <laughs> outside, for Scotland, only being a small country, it's a fantastic achievement. Great achievement. I think uh, we've qualified for four or five of the last six World Cups and that, so it is a great achievement for us, but uh, our main priority this time is to try to qualify for the later stages. Every, every World Cup we've been to, we've been knocked out after two weeks, so hopefully uh, we can be there a bit longer this time. On a personal level, Gordon, what's it like coming back to Rangers as you move towards the latter end of your career? It's a club I've always wanted to play for, I don't think... Uh, I was down in England for eight years, enjoyed my time down there, but as soon as the new Rangers were interested, uh, there was only one place that I wanted to come and this is it. It's a very, very fervent football atmosphere in Glasgow. What's it like playing in front of 50,000 here at Ibrox? Yes, as you say, it's, uh, the city's got uh, obviously the, the, two big, the, the two big teams. The atmosphere at the two grounds is, is tremendous or whatever, and uh, it's, it's very enjoyable to play in front of. On a personal level, uh, it is very different to England playing up mm -hmm. here. What's a, a derby like? Is it possible to describe it to somebody who's never played in one? Uh, I've been fortunate enough, I've played in London derbies and whatever, but uh, the Glasgow, the, the Rangers Celtic derby is probably one of the most tense and passionate derbies that you'll ever get. Uh, to be involved in one, it's, it's really hard to, to say how it is, but uh, it's probably the most passionate game that, that you could ever play in. I've got to say, Spurs and Arsenal, it's a bit balloons on sticks compared with this. I isn't think it? it is, yeah. We're both passionate clubs as well, Tottenham and Arsenal, but uh, to play in the Glasgow Derby is a bit special. Gordon, thank you very much okay. for doing it. Pleasure. Cheers, mate. Okay.